just thought I might take this opportunity to have a word with you about this uh, situation that we find ourselves in. I'm flattered you remember. We'll be working together, so... You can rely on me to be discreet. Uh, Jack, I don't want any favours, OK? I'm nervous enough as it is about doing this attachment. I just want to be left in peace to learn the job. I'm hearing you, yeah? Yeah, are you listening? Because the last thing I need are stunts like this. Look, this is just a bit of brecky, right? It's your first day at the station, you know. I just want to make it a bit special. That's all. OK, no more surprises and no more special treatment. OK, I promise. You know you've got a really suspicious attitude, which is a really good thing in a police Can we just go to work, it? please? All right. OK, taxi! What? It's just a boat. Ah, unbelievable. No, we don't get that many famous people on the boat. Not unless they're in handcuffs. Uh, should we take on the scenic route, Jack? No, no, straight back to the station, I think. Station? OK, Jake, any water cleaning to leave Yeah, go ahead, Donna. We've got a student demo down at Jonah Street Wharf. Uh, Divert and attend. Look, we just picked up Jack and Sophie. What's a trainee doing on board? Well, she hasn't even reported to duty yet. Look, we just picked her up, OK? She's uh, just finished brekkie. She's a trainee on attachment. She's not supposed to attend high-risk situations. You'll have to drop her off. Or well, maybe she can't swim. VKG Sydney Water Police okay. clear. Copy, Nemesis clear. <laughs> Beside that police car, and you don't move. Hey, mate, hey, mate, this is bullshit. I mean, would you drive Sophie and I back to the station, right? Jack, this Jack, is hey, crap. We're here now. If we nick off, what's it going to look like, okay? Well, I don't know. What's it going to look like? Hey, hey, hey! Look, mate, what are you getting a bit slow, mate? Get down off the car. You're going to be charged with a number of offences. You're breaking the law. You want a piece of this, sweetie? Oh, yeah, what are you going to do? Throw in a magnifying glass? Will you get down off the car? Arrest me. <laughs> hey, hey, turn that off. Get down. Turn it off. After you, Maddie. He's got no clothes on. Damn ugly. I know that move. It's called Ko Ho Long. Oh, is that Hung Long Dong? Hung Long Dong. <laughs> yeah, it translates to Naked Moron with Bleak Future. <laughs> oh, righto. Ready? You got him? Thanks, mate. Thanks for your help. Yeah, well, you know, it's a one unarmed naked idiot here, you know. I've got to look after myself. I'm going to be a daddy. Can't afford to be reckless, mate. Well, I mean, you were the star of the show. 
It's, it's a wonder you've still got your clothes on, you know? What did you want me to do? Go find a police car that wasn't inhabited. Uh, listen, Jack, the lock on the gate's broken, mate. We're going to need someone to stay here until the locksmith turns up. I'll do it. So, if haven't I told you already? Fine. You haven't got the authority. Jack, it'll be great. If Safe can help us. All right, she won't be here for long. OK, we'll save one of our blokes being tied up. Just hang on, guys. All right, yeah, you phone it in as soon yep. as it's done, all right? OK, let's get this full Monty down to the station. Yep, all right? OK. <laughs> Possible assault charge here. I'm going to have to chat to Mr. Fraser about that. This is bloody ridiculous. Mick, take him upstairs and do encourage him to put some clothes on. Oh, J J where's Sophie? All right, uh, she's down at the wharf waiting for the locksmith and she's not breaking any rules. What was she doing on the Nemesis? I asked the boys if they'd give us a lift to work. Right? How was I to know we'd end up in the middle of a demo? Let's get something straight here, Jack. Now, you can fuss over Sophie all you like in your own time, but when she's here, she's under my supervision. She's a trainee, and I don't want you to interfere. Neither does she. Good. I wasn't a part of the demo. I had Just nothing to do with it. Sit down, Mr Fraser, please. Manners. I'm Detective Sergeant Christie, Detective Constable Riley. Okay. Just caution me and let me go. Seems like he knows the routine, Jack. You might be a law student. What do you think? You're a law student? Look, it was just a joke. That's all. You're not going to charge me or anything, so... I don't know. How about creating an anti-climax in public? <laughs> Send us some <laughs> My father's Anthony Fraser. QC. Yeah, I know him, and he does a very good job. So does your QC of a father know what you were doing today, Mr Fraser? Right, you had a mate videotaping your performance today. I want the tape, I want any of the copies, and I want them today. What for? I want them today. Well, it's too late. It'll be on the net by now. Yeah, it's on the web. But what is jollyjokersonline.com anyway? Well, it seems to be a contest. Students from around the world pull a stunt, whack it on the net, get points. Yeah, but today's little performance isn't there yet, is it? No, no, that's the last one. OK, well, listen, I'm going to have another word of young Paul Fraser. What's the point? The point is this. Every station that Sophie goes to in the future, right, could have a poster like that staring at her from her locker door. And that's not going to happen, no. Well? OK, I verified your story. Right, so can I go? And just hang on, I want you to do me a favour. Like what? I want you to call your mate with a camera and tell him not to put that stuff on the internet, right? <laughs> You're kidding me, aren't you? The young lady you filmed is a police trainee, right? We don't like our trainees embarrassed, so you make the call and you're out of here. That's it. Get stuffed. You know, you're testing my patience, Paul. Look, I'm not going to give up 200 points just because some bitch gets a face on the camera. No way. You don't want us to take this to the next step, Mr Fraser. There is no next step, right? I know how it works. Oh, yes, there is. You resisted arrest. You assaulted a police officer. You assaulted the young lady standing beside the police car. Bullshit! We've got lots of witnesses. You can't intimidate me. No, but we can charge you, which would greatly inconvenience you being a law student now, wouldn't it? You know, your efforts today could stop you practising law. So why don't you do the decent thing here and go and make that phone call? Call your mate or cop the charges. If you cop the charges, we'll see you in court. Hey, hey, hey. Hey! hey. hey. You know, you're seriously pissing me off. Hey, Jack. Where did that come from? Well, that's it, Helen. The rest of the cavity's clear. Mm -hmm. Geez, look at some of these notes. They look like museum pieces, don't they? Yeah, old money. Woo! Breaking drinks in the caravan tonight, huh? Well, it's out in the mill room, Sarge. There's half a mill down here, huh? Have you three got something better to do? Yeah, we could start kicking in a few more walls around here. Off you go, then. Let's do it. <laughs> Ready to start? Yeah. This is a designated crime scene. It's not a side chat. All right, sir. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, we're going to have to get somebody in to fix that. Uh, Chief, look, this is um, the envelope it came in. And judging by the currency, it's got to be some... How long, how long would it... Just, um... Well, 12, 13 years since the $1 notes have been in circulation. I know that much. What do you think? Counterfeit or not? Yeah, we're working on that. Well, the question is who put it there? And why was it put there? 
Better get on to forensics, Helen. And get a few quotes. I mean, we've got to get that repaired. I think we can apply logic to this. What do you mean, the last time there was a hole in the wall of that room? Thank you for stating the obvious, Jack. OK, the currency is at least ten years old, right? How good are our building records? Well, you know, it's going to be a paper chase tonight. You know, you find money like this in the police station, everyone gets nervous. Even if I was disposed to covering it up, which I am not. It's a bit late now, Jack. Cat's out of the bag, it's public knowledge. All right. I'll have a word to young Fraser before I let him go. He's just ringing someone about a video. You do the right thing, Paul. Yeah, all right. And I'll be keeping an eye on the website. Sure. Can I go now? This is one other thing. Just hang on. Yep, Christy. Jack, it's me, Sophie. Where are you? Yeah, no, I'm still down at the wharf. The locksmith's been and gone. What do you want me to do now? OK, you get back here and you report to Sergeant Blakemore. Righto. Right, uh, where was I? All oh, right, yeah, the money in the wall. <laughs> Always wonder where you Ben Cox kept it. It's a joke. We don't think it's a joke. There'll be a full investigation. You might be required to make a further statement. I already made a statement. I wouldn't like anything said that might jeopardise that investigation. No? Yeah, don't worry. I won't tell anyone. That's very good of you, Paul. Some crook gets picked up. You know, he hasn't been searched properly. They need to interview him, so they stick uh, him in the room that's having renovations. He panics and he just ditches the money. It could have happened like that, Helen. Yeah, whatever the truth, Mick, money and cops spell corruption to the media. Whether it happened 30 years ago or yeah, yesterday. Yeah. Always I've the got same. a great idea for a name. What about Donald? Yeah, come on, Donald. So that's Sophie's got guts. Right. When we got to the demo, she was ready to get stuck in. Yeah, well, she shouldn't have been there. That wasn't her fault. What do you want this? Yeah, and when she got monster, I reckon she handled herself really well. You owe me 10 bucks for the kitty. Huh? For the food I bought on Tuesday. I don't remember talking about the flight. Ten bucks, bring it on, mate. Give it to you later. Safety, safety, safety. Oh, for God. De oh, Donna! Uh, get Sophie to get these boxes up to Hawker's office now. She's not back yet. I think I'll have to go and get her. I'll get the boxes upstairs. Good, good. Right, now I'm a taxi driver, am I? Oh, shut up! I'm on my way! Oh, yeah. Sorry. Excuse me, sir. Oh, Vanessa, um, I just put it uh, on the chair, save you back. Look, I wouldn't mind a bit of a hand here, actually. That's if, you know, if, um, you know, Hel Helen can spare you for a minute. Yeah, what are we looking for? Um, well, we're just looking for anything, really, in terms of builders, receipts, invoices, anything that might tell us when the interview room was last renovated. Um, once we've got a date, then, you know, I can start the investigation. Yeah, and cross-reference with whoever was stationed here at the time. Exactly. Yeah. And you know, I should be able to provide a few shortcuts there as far as personnel are concerned. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm writing a history of... Uh, of this police station. Well, I mean, you know, it's just a, just a hobby I'm doing. Can I see? Sure, absolutely. I've got it right here, actually. I'm checking it this morning. I can see I go back to the, back to the 1950s. There's, uh... Any juicy bits? Juicy bits? You know, sex, scandals. Uh, no, no, not yet, but uh, maybe. We found something on the money. Oh, good day, Jack. So, you're quick? Oh, well, not really, Chief. I mean, uh, the notes were almost brand new and they carried the signature of the Governor of the Reserve Bank, uh, Phillips. He took over in July of 68 and held the job till 1975. 68 till 75, uh, thanks, Vanessa. Yeah, that's Sir, what he said. I've got the floor plans for 68. Oh, excellent. Very right. good work. Oh, what have we got? Well, it wasn't being used as an interview room then. It was the office of Detective Sergeant Fred Kinson. Fred Kinson? You remember the name of one officer from 30-odd years ago? Yeah, I do. The department doesn't forget dead heroes, Vanessa. This is Fred Kinson, the only detective in the water police in the 1960s. In 1969, there was a terrible storm. A couple of kids were skylarking in a boat and were swept out to sea, off North Head. Kinson took the police boat out alone. He rescued the kids, the boat was swamped, and tragically he was killed. But now we've found, what, $5,483 in the wall that was once his office. That's right, Mick, and we're not jumping to I'm conclusions, I'm so sorry, are we? Sergeant. I... It's OK, Was... it's OK. Uh, stay behind the front counter and I'll get Donald to help you out. Uh... I asked Sophie to wait for the locks. It's not her fault. Really, perhaps you could explain the chain of command to Sophie. I didn't ask you to stick up for me. I don't know why I bothered. No, I don't want to be a mascot to all your mates, and I don't want to be an outsider to everyone else. So you... 
Please just let me handle it myself. Sydney Water, please. Yeah, hi, it's Donna. Look, I'm down at Jonas Street. Can you tell Sergeant Blakemore that I haven't seen Sophie anywhere? I can't find her. Um, if, if you mean me, I'm here. Who's this? Sophie, I just got back. Yeah, thanks a lot. Excuse me, sir. doing? Yes, I live here. Oh yeah? What's your name? Jeff Hayes. Look, this looks terrible. I've left my keys inside. Could I see some identification please, Mr Hayes? It says here that you live in Gunbower, Mr Hayes. What are you doing breaking into a house in Sydney? Uh, my wife and I have a short-term rental agreement on this place while we're up here. She's got a set of keys. I've got a set of keys. I've left them inside. And, uh, look, I've got the estate agent's number in here. I can give him a call if you like. You'll, uh... Hey, hey, hey. Hi! Sorry. Come on, Tommy. Hey, Hello, inside. gorgeous. Come on, inside. Yeah, come on. Please, big. He's a guts, too. Come on. <laughs> September 30th to November 8th, 1968. That's when the renovations took place. But it might be a problem pinning down who did the work. You know, it could have been a plasterer who was trying to hide the money from his missus. Who'd know? Oh, is it, guy? The builders are still in business. They might have records. Check it out. I think it's pretty unlikely that a workman would have put the money there. Yeah, but Jeff, if you're going to pay a copper off, it's going to be round figures, all right? It's not going to be $5,483. <sighs> yeah, I guess. You know, it wouldn't be the first time that a policeman has confiscated the proceeds of a crime, Jack. You don't think it was his hero, Kinson, do you? No. No, I don't. But we should check it out. OK. I'm going to stick with Kinson's records, you know, and see if I can find a crime that matches that amount. But I tell you what, I don't like it. Yep, that's him. OK, thank you. Anything all right? I suppose so, Mr Hayes, but you would have saved us both a lot of trouble if you'd just gone to the estate agent and gotten the spare key. Yeah. My, uh, my son's got a blood disorder. That's why we're in Sydney. My wife's with him at the hospital now. I came back to feed the dog, realised I'd locked my keys inside, and what can I say? Very embarrassed, very sorry. Well, I'll let you get back to it. I hope your son gets better. Thanks. You haven't been in the paper, have you? Or on the telly? No. Oh, I thought you might be an athlete, that's all. <laughs> oh, no, no, a bit of golf at your chuka, that's my lot. Right, sorry. What am I going to do? I've got to think, I've got to think, I've got to think. You got any mates out there? What are they? I'm on my own. You recognise me? You're Ray Monk. You didn't give me a chance to call it in. Eleven years. Eleven bloody years. What have you got? A photographic memory. I'm from Wagga too. Oh. oh, you are joking. I'm Donna Janewski. Any relation to Sergeant Janewski? He's my dad. He wasn't a bad cop. He didn't think he killed anyone. You would say that. 
He thought you were just the driver of the getaway car. He was right. I didn't kill anyone. I was just a kid. I thought, thought we were just knocking over a service station. I didn't even know anyone had a gun. It won't make any difference if I'm caught. I had to hit you. I don't make a habit of hitting women. What am I going to do with you? Fascinating guy when you get to know him. Thought you were cleaning the nemesis. Yeah, I was. I was just having a breather. Breathe somewhere else. Sophie, you should be under supervision. Where is Donna? Um, she isn't back yet. <sighs> well, I thought she was with you. She phoned in, and then when I said that I'd made my own way back, she hung up. God, what a mess this day is turning into. Look, get onto a mobile, find out what's keeping her. Front page diary. There, in front of you. That's one of Kinson's there, Jeff. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, guys, uh, talk to the builders. Uh, same family, second generation doing the job these days. Mm -hmm. The old man's retired, but I did have a word with him. And he says that he can't remember who actually worked for him back then, but he does remember Kinson very well. He reckons Kinson never stopped using that room as his office, especially when they were working there. Right, well, there's something here. Where are we? Here we go. Uh, Kinson was chasing illegal card games along the harbour foreshore, and he brought a bloke called Dino Scalati in for questioning. And? Well, that's all. There's no name, no record of interview, no record of which room the interview was held in, nothing in the file about any sum of money. In fact, the rest of the file is missing. OK, right, right. Kinson had a daughter. Maybe we should talk to her. Uh, why are we going to drag Kinson's daughter into this? Well, church? she might have kept the files, yeah. Kinson was old school, Mick. Rules got bent, files went missing. Check it out. Helen? Yeah. Right Do you mind looking up somebody on cops for us? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a Scalati with a K. Yeah, and see if you can get an address. Yeah. To... Uh, uh, Sergeant Blakemore, I rang Donna, but she's not answering her phone. OK, don't worry, I'll call her. Thanks. Can they trace this? The truth? No. Eleven years on the run. You're a bit of a legend back home. Shut up. You can do it again. No one will find me here for hours. You'd be long gone, Ray. Don't call me Ray. My name's Jeff. You're Ray Monk. Stop it. I know what you're trying to do. I'm not trying to do anything. It's not going to work. Nothing's going to make any difference. <laughs> Hello, Jeff Hayes. Ah, oh, hi, darling. Uh, yeah, look, the dog's made a bit of a mess here. I'm just cleaning it up. How's the uh, little fella? Right, uh, OK, I'll just finish up here and I'll, I'll head straight back. OK, bye, darling. My God, your wife doesn't know, does she? Why'd you come here? This is your fault. Why did you come here? Listen to me, Ray. You're free because you're smart. If you kill a cop now... I can't run again. I can't. I can't do it. Not this time. I can't... My boy needs me. I can't. And if I can't run... Get on the floor, face down. Please, Ray, if you kill a cop, you'll get life. You'll never see your family again. Get on the floor now! to settle my nephew down. I'm babysitting. We won't keep you long, Mrs James. We just want to ask you a few questions about your father, Detective Kinson. Dad died over 30 years ago. What could you possibly want to know? An old case of his has come alive, involving a man by the name of Dino Scalati. Did your father ever mention this gentleman's name? I was only 19 when Dad died, and he never talked to me about his work. Our records at the station are incomplete. We're wondering whether you might have some of your father's papers around the house. No, there's nothing here. Look, the year we're interested in is late 1968. Can you remember if your father was worried about anything? No, about what? Well, you know, problems at work, money worries. Look, Dad was an honest cop. Don't come here suggesting otherwise. Please 
don't do this. <laughs> Ray, you won't get away with it. You'll lose everything. Stop now. Walk away. Ray, listen to me. Sophie's a babe. There's Patrick. Patrick. Great legs. Great, great attitude. Mate, you are kidding yourself, aren't you? It's a challenge, but I like a challenge. Patrick. I like that. Patrick's good. Listen, mate, all the names are great. But it's the surname that's the worry. Oh, you're a funny guy. Yeah, I know. Hey, boys. I want you to take a run down to the Jaina Street Wharf and see if you can spot Donna. She's not responding to her mobile or her radio. Should we be worried about this, Sarge? There could be a very simple explanation. Just find her, yeah? So... <laughs> what did you do it? What did you just do it? <laughs> For 11 years! 11 years I've been a model citizen! I've never missed a day's work, I've paid my taxes, haven't broken any laws, I haven't even let it! And then you come along, the little girl from Walker! I am not gonna leave my wife and my son behind! You are not gonna ruin my family! It's not gonna happen! Something's gonna happen. Not that. <laughs> yeah, we've just arrived at the Jonah Street Wharf. Now, she's not in the immediate vicinity. There's no sign of a car. Canvas the entire area, talk to shopkeepers. I'm going to send more officers to assist. Yep. Father, you know. Better than my old man ever was. That lousy bastard. But now I've got to hurt him. They'd be better off if, <laughs> if I was dead. No, they wouldn't. You. You'd break their hearts. I don't, I don't want to. But it's going to happen, isn't it? <laughs> 
Sarge? We found a car, but there's no sign of Donna. Hey, Jeff. You know Scalati? Hmm. He's dead. What? And you're not going to like this. You know when he was shot? Late in 1968, and it was only two weeks after he was interviewed by Detective right. Thompson. Who shot Scalati? Yeah, right. He's got a brother, Lucas Scalati. You want to get him in for a chat? Uh, I'm worried about Donna. She went out three hours ago and she hasn't come back, and I can't raise her. Sykes and Quinn have found a car. It's parked in Jonah Street, but no Donna. Right. We'll get some more uniforms down there. I've done that. We're in the phone company. I don't know. Maybe something wrong with the phone. Yeah, I could and do And keep me informed. Yeah, I will. want this money business sorted, Jack. Hmm. Gets glad his brother in here. What do you want? It's like we said, Luca. Uh, we just want to have a chat to you about your brother, Dino. What about him? Who shot him? <sighs> That's 30 bloody years ago. We're curious. Let my brother rest in peace. OK. It's OK. Who had it in for him? Can you remember? He was shot by a bent cop. Bastard called Kinson. How do you know? <sighs> Dino knew him. Hated his guts. Said Kinson was giving him a real hard time. Did Dino say why? Because Dino was screwing Kinson's daughter. That's why. Hey, Sarge. I like to remember seeing a policewoman walking up Argyle steps, so we're going to go and check it out. Keep me informed, Gavin. I know her phone's been switched off, but did she make any calls when she was out? Her phone company could give us the log. That's a good point, Vanessa. I've already done that. It's just that it'll take time, that's all. What's your little boy's name? Kevin. How old is he? I don't think you can get out of this without doing time, Ray. But if you cut me loose, it'll be a lot easier to get out of it. Yes, Sykes here? The phone company came through with a log of Donna's mobile. The last call she made was to a real estate agent. She was in a house and she wanted confirmation of the resident. It's yeah, 13 that... Jonas Lane. Yeah, we got that. Found her. Found her. Down here. You're telling the truth about the hold-up. About not knowing that they had a gun. It's the truth. Then you'd only have to do a year, maybe two. And then it'd all be over. You wouldn't have to live in fear anymore. But Ray, that can only happen if you cut me loose. Walk out of here together. But only if you cut me loose. Dino Scalati's brother. He was a bastard, my dad. He died a hero, but he was a real bully. He controlled my life. I think I probably started going out with Dino just to spite him. He used to drag Dino in and try and scare him. Dino didn't care. Dino was crazy. Dino was murdered. I got pregnant. We were going to run away together. Dino robbed one of the illegal card games. Of $5,483. Yeah. 
was a heap of money 30 years ago. Anyway, when I told Dad I was leaving because I was pregnant, he just left the house without saying a word. You went to see Dana. Did your father kill him? I found out Dino was dead the next day. Anyway, I took the money to Dad. Don't ask me why. Maybe I was just trying to see whether he'd turn me in for receiving. He just made me have an abortion. I never knew what he'd done with the money. He left me alone after that. Stopped trying to control me. Then he was gone. What did they say at the hospital? I've just got a few bruises. I feel fine, sir. Well, you've been through a terrifying experience. Thank God Sykes and Quinn turned up when they did. Yeah. Now, I notice here that you, you didn't have your gun with you. Uh, no, sir. Well, we that for the moment. I wish I could have spared you the circumstances, but getting the most wanted man in the state, that's quite a result. He wasn't... Yes? I don't think he's ever killed anyone. Well, it's not up to us. It's up to the courts to decide. We've done our job. Well done. Why don't you go home, get some rest. Donna, are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Now, listen, if you need to talk to someone... Mick, you know... I'm fine. You can buy me a beer. I'll see you there later. Shouldn't you just be going home? Yeah, right. Hey, Mick. Hey. You got the report back from forensics about the money? Yeah, there's too many fingerprints on the notes to make sense of. Oh. The envelope's useless. Too much deterioration. Kinson put the money in the wall just after he murdered Scalati. What? Case is reopened. Yeah, second page. That's the daughter's. Looks like it's going to be a major rewrite on the Kinson chapter. No, Mick, we haven't smashed the door down. We heard him inside, right? Hey, I'm going to be away for the weekend. I just thought I should let you know. Oh, all right. Where you going? Does it make any difference? Can't I ask? No, no, you can't. You can save the third degree for your suspects. If you didn't want me to be curious, then why did you tell me in the first place? Listen, Jack, if you stay out of my private life and stay out of my work life, then we're going to get along just fine. Hey, Don, I'm sorry about today. What? Well, if I had done things properly, you wouldn't have had to come looking for me. Oh, don't worry about it. And don't ask me how I'm feeling either. I'm sick of it. If they'd gotten there five minutes later, he would have untied me. He might have even given himself up. Well, how can you be sure of that? See, no one's interested in my version. Ray Monk, public enemy number one. Got the bastard, got him. Cheers. Cheers. He hasn't committed a crime in 11 years. He's got a wife. He's got a son in the hospital. That's not the point, Donna. I was getting through to him. I could have got... Forget it. Hey, hey. Hey, Donna, are you OK? Yes, I'm fine. I'm not a victim, I'm a police officer. It's just me. I don't put the light on. Given himself up. And maybe. I thought that's why I was so pissed off. 
should have been my result and then you and Gavin kicked your way in, but... But it wasn't that. I just wanted to think that it was. He tried to kill me. I know. I thought I was gonna die. And all I could keep thinking was how I'd had no life at all, really. I hadn't done anything that I wanted to do or become anything. I was so scared. <laughs>